Habitat Conservation Initiative is an initiative that sets out to protect and conserve um, uh, boreal forest habitat and wetlands in, in northern Alberta. So the boreal forest is very diverse. It's a combination of upland, lowland, so there's just a, a whole array of different, different ecosystems that, that actually occur within the larger boreal natural region. Go out and you take a walk and you can just see majestic trees, um, decadent aspen, tamarack. It's, it's a great place to partake in recreational opportunities, to go for a walk, to go hunting, to go fishing, to just enjoy the outdoors take pictures, pick Saskatoons, it's just a wonderful place to be and very rejuvenating and refreshing. So. You know the genesis of this project really goes back a number of years when we were looking for opportunities to offset our environmental footprint in the boreal forest. So we initiated a pilot project with ACA around Lake Wanagami to conserve an area of land and that project was very successful which led into the larger project now that we have been working with ACA. Suncor actually approached um, Alberta Parks initially looking for a nonprofit organization to partner with to do their conservation offsets and Alberta Parks recommended Alberta Conservation Association. So that, that's actually how it happened. Industry came to, to us first, which is, that's what makes this really exciting. Suncor really had the initiative to want to go after this project in the first place. Without their, their expertise, I, I believe that uh, we may not have been able to advance this, this project as far as we have. Uh, with their resources, their, their knowledge, their contacts in, in government and in the rest of the industry I think has helped move this project forward to where it is today. The project was initiated from ideas from our employees on how to offset um, our environmental footprint. And what we've done with the project now is that we've formed an advisory committee and that advisory committee has employees from our different operating businesses on it and we meet frequently with the ACA, look through the establishing priorities, looking through projects to determine which are the best opportunities to pursue. For each property we purchase, we put up signs on them, identifying them as areas of conservation, we write a management plan in them and we do yearly inspections on them. Alberta Conservation Association uh, focuses on the accessibility on these lands. It, it's um, rather than closing them, them off to the public, we want to make sure that people can go on. There's, there's footpaths, there's fishing opportunities. I would say the most rewarding moment was uh, Suncor deciding that after the pilot project, uh, it was a, a good enough partnership that they wanted to continue, that they wanted to put more money into this and make it a long-term relationship. And they've gone for three years, and now uh, you're coming to the end of that three years, and as I said, it's, it looks like we're going to go for another term with them. I think for me the most rewarding moment is when we get the notification from ACA that a parcel of land has been purchased and the, the title is transferred and we've received that objective or we've met that objective of, of conservation and that land can now be returned to uh, you know, its more natural state and conserved for our future generations. I look at this uh, partnership as just being um, a great way of ensuring that there's a large amount of habitat being conserved for my own personal use, for my children's use in the future, that sort of thing. I really don't see, without having corporate partnerships to do conservation um, purchases, I just don't see a way of um, an organization like ourselves or any other one um, in the province being able to purchase enough land to make a huge difference. I believe that uh, seeking opportunity to conserve lands for future generations is really an important goal that we should all be looking for. It's important for all of us as, as Albertans and Canadians and citizens to, to look for these opportunities and ensure that these lands are preserved. It's really doing the right thing. It's looking for opportunities to have lands that are ecologically and environmentally important conserved for our future generations.